Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am Veronica and I'm back with another pick a card reading for you. So this one is going to be about your life three months from now. Plus the guidance that you should hear right now or during the next couple of months. We just hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube and I'm extremely thankful for that. So thank you guys so much for subscribing, letting me do these readings for you, being so active in the comment section. It always just makes my day seeing your comments. So thank you guys so much for supporting me, subscribing, liking the video, helping the algorithm this way. So the YouTube is going to push out my videos to more people so more people can listen to the guidance that I have from my spirit guides for you. So thank you so much. And to celebrate 5,000 subscribers, I would like to do a giveaway for you guys. This is going to be a personal um, a reading giveaway in a video format. Uh, it's going to be a 15 minutes private reading basically. And to enter, all you gotta do is to leave a comment down below under this video. You can leave a comment right now and just tell me something good. Or you can leave a comment right after watching your pile. Let me know how you feel about it. Honestly, anything that you guys want, whatever you will write is going to, um, this comment is going to enter the giveaway. And of course you have to be a subscriber to this channel and if you already are hit the notification bell to get notified of my next video because that's where i will announce the winner and without further ado let's just go to your card selection and i'll see you in your reading okay guys so this is your card selection deck selection this time so we have the light series tarot as group number one the dark mansion tarot as group number two and the elemental wisdom as the group number three so what i want you to do before you guys are going to choose the deck i want you to just pause the video for a while so you could really ground yourself and center yourself take a couple of deep breaths in and out this is going to um, connect you with your intuition more because as i said you're going to ground yourself and it's going to be easier for you to choose a deck also you will choose a deck that um, has the messages for you instead of the deck that maybe seems to be the most pretty so just choose with your intuition not with your eyes if that makes sense if you guys don't really know how to choose um, i created a video on that i will put it in the right hand corner at the top um, if you want to watch it and then come back and uh, select your pile so we are going to start with the group number one right now but as i said please just pause the video and take as much time as you guys need let's start with group number one Hey, group number one. So if you guys chose the Light Sears Tarot, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what cards we have for you. Okay, group number one. So with the card that we have, Page of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Three months from now, from whenever you're watching this reading, I do see you being very, like, challenging yourself a lot very hard working and very focused on your goals the king of swords is telling me that there will be a certain routine that you guys are going to be following uh you will be definitely feeling very motivated to keep on going and you will have your expectations very high um i do think that this could be quite connected with the energy of what's going on right now in your life um if you have a goal set if you have something that you really want to achieve i just see you uh still working towards it three months from now but, but definitely being closer to it um i'm still seeing you planting the seeds or it makes me feel like you have already planted the seeds and three months from now you might be seeing the first manifestation uh, manifestations of it um the seed finally kind of like starting to grow and you will start finally seeing the physical manifestation of whatever you've been setting uh your uh, mind onto whatever you've been doing lately whatever goal you have on your mind as i said you still are working towards it however three months from now you will finally be able to see a little bit like a glimpse of it the first stages of it um i say first stages because we do have the page of pentacles and this is a card that is representing the beginning stages of something 
the exploration stage. Um, this is also a card of setting your goals in general, planning strategies, and then putting your plans into action. I definitely am seeing you coming up with amazing ideas for yourself, something that will get you even closer to your goal, being very motivated in general and taking so much action to um, get closer to your dreams. With the Seven of Swords, this is to me representing you being very sneaky about um, how to get where you want to get and maybe actually working on your own to get where you want to get. I feel like you will realize that there are a lot of things that you can actually do on your own without uh, waiting for someone to save you or waiting for someone to bring you the opportunity. It makes me feel like you guys are making the opportunities for yourself, that you are the person that is bringing the opportunities to your life. And I do see that there will be more opportunities coming your way in regards to this goal of yours, something that you are really working hard towards. Um, because we do have the Ace of Wands, which is a card of something new coming in. This is new energy, uh, new action, taking new action. Uh, perhaps for some of you that also could be representing like a new uh, way or a new route, basically. Ace of Wands could be um, talking about some new interests and hobbies, but I do think that it's in regards to this overall vision of yours. I feel like you will see a different way of getting where you want to get and you will be very inspired to uh, to work towards that, to work on that steering away a little bit from um, this overall energy because I do see a very big focus on your goal, um, on something that you want to achieve, as I was saying. I also see with the Ace of Wands um, a new passion for something and motivation and also moving your body more. It makes me feel like you guys are going to be more um, active, physically active. Maybe you will pick up on some new hobby that will uh like an active hobby something like a sport you know <laughs> you will maybe start going to the gym or you will start start roller skating or something about that i do see you moving a lot moving your body a lot and once again having like a certain routine for yourself so if you are feeling a little bit lost right now if you're feeling like you don't have your life together like it doesn't come together I do see that three months from now, you guys are going to have everything in control, basically. And you will be making the opportunities for yourself. Page of Pentacles, um, as I said before, it is a new possible career opportunity or path coming your way. So it is possible that you guys are going to decide to uh, maybe steer away a little bit from this overall um, vision that you have, a general vision for yourself that you have, because there will be something new that will, might come and might make you kind of like think about all of it and uh, reflect and maybe redirect your energy to go somewhere else. Um, even though it's going to, even though you might actually go a little bit you know, follow a little bit different path, this path is going to lead you to the same destination, if that makes sense, at the end of the day. Um, I do see you guys just making like rational decisions and pretty much taking charge of your life, um, knowing that you can do whatever you want to do. I'm getting very confident energy and I'm getting the energy of just you um, being very focused on yourself, on self-growth, on your goals. So now I'm going to check the Oracle cards and we have plenty of them. And these might be uh, representing the messages for you right now, something that maybe you should hear that will help you to um, get to that place even faster or easier or will guide you throughout the next three months during the next three months or in general maybe we will see more um, messages about your life three months from now so let's start we have a card of creativity uh, definitely makes sense with the ace of wands because i do see you guys 
um, pursuing some new creative hobby or project uh, you definitely are super excited about something and you're putting a lot of work into it a lot of effort into it with the effort card so once again hard working energy um, I definitely feel like it's going to be worth it later on you know because you are growing this tree from the from the seeds that you've planted you are growing the tree and it's going to bring you a lot of rewards later on so just keep on going um, I feel like so far the message for you here is just to keep on going uh, but let's see what else we have so we have forgiveness interesting so I feel like with this card that could be asking you to forgive someone or or yourself right now for something that maybe didn't work out so if this is you forgiving uh, needing to forgive yourself um, be gentle with yourself even though you haven't maybe got uh, um, to the point where you actually want to get yet um, I do think that it's important for you to forgive yourself, accept the situation and to just keep on going because you guys are heading in the right direction. However, it might take a little bit longer. Sometimes manifestations don't come that quickly. Sometimes things don't happen as quickly as we wish they would happen because we have to learn some lessons along the way. There are some things for us that we have to experience in order to later on um, just get to the place where we want to be and be happy with it and be okay with it and be able to look back and see how far we've come to get to that place. Um, I'm hearing a message from the spirit right now as well. Uh, saying that it's not about the destination it's about the journey and it's something that you guys have to remind yourself I do think some of you um, may be a little bit too caught too caught up in where you want to get um, that you want to get there as fast as possible but it's all about like enjoying the journey so enjoying every day um, every single day of you trying even to get there because you're learning something new, you're making new connections, etc. So it's not only about, you know, the destination. It's good that you know what you want. However, don't forget to actually enjoy the journey as well. Let's see what else we have. So, ooh, so we have a card of what do you need to release? So there's something that you gotta release. Maybe it's uh, connected with the forgiveness card of you not accepting the situation that you are in currently, maybe blaming yourself for being in the situation. Whatever happened, guys, the best way uh, of you uh, moving on and progressing from this situation, uh, from this energy, is to just accept it as, as it is, for what it is. Even though you don't like it, you have to be able to just accept it and then you can move on. Um, maybe this could be representing a person in your life that you got to release something that you have to let go of in order to just feel more happy and be more happy so there might be something that is blocking your manifestation from coming because there's something that you guys have to release we also have a card of the energy is gaining momentum and definitely makes sense with all the previous cards tower cards that we were seeing you guys are gaining momentum and even three months from now you're not going to be at the destination that you want to be but you're going to be getting very close and if you will keep on going you will eventually reach that dream reach that goal um so just keep on going because the energy is building up okay i'm getting a message for you that by the end of this year you will get what you want so whatever it is whatever you are putting a lot of attention and focus and effort onto, I do think that it's something that will come your way this year, definitely. We also have a card of it's time to take an action in Aries. So first of all, it's time to take an action. Um, makes sense with all the other cards that we have as well. And I do see you guys taking a lot of action. Um, this could be a message for those of you that are feeling a little bit unmotivated right now to keep on going or to start something. Now is the time for you to take that action. Also, I'm seeing that for some of you that are wondering about like your love life and maybe someone 
someone from your love life that is Aries, I do see that maybe it's time for you guys to take an action on this connection. And this is not a love reading, so I'm not going to be getting a lot into it. However, I'm seeing that there is... I feel like you guys should talk with this person. And maybe that wouldn't necessarily mean that you have to uh, be with this person. But maybe it's about forgiveness. Maybe it's about releasing this person from your life. But it's time for you to stop trying to avoid the situation, if that resonates. And to do something about it. It's time to take an action. But... That message is not for everyone. It's just for those of you that um, resonate with it. So let's just keep on going. We also have a card. Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. So a breakthrough. There is a breakthrough coming during the next three months. Um, there will finally be a breakthrough at something in something in regards to this thing that you guys are working towards. The goal, it could be a career goal, goal it could be a relationship-wise, it could be just um, ge in general, like life lessons or spiritual journey, whatever it is for you guys, a breakthrough is coming. So very soon something is going to happen, definitely during the next three months. Um, you will see a big breakthrough. We also have a card stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. So during the next three months, you guys are stepping into your power and you are going to become a boss babe, basically. <laughs> I'm getting uh, vibes of you just guys becoming more self-sufficient, more confident in yourself, um, your self-worth increasing tremendously. Um, and you are realizing how powerful you are, how powerful of a manifester you are, and how powerful just in general you are. We also have a card of solitude. In silence, peace prevails. So I guess this could be asking you to really stay on your own right now, to to give yourself some time to solitude, stay in solitude basically. Um, so you could maybe reflect on your life. So maybe you could see the bigger picture or, or even go through this breakthrough. Um, it's important for you to spend some time in peace on your own, reflecting or meditating. Um, I feel like that's when the most um, powerful and amazing ideas will come your way and will come to your mind when you will be on your own. Um, so if you are a person that needs to be constantly, you know, chatting with someone, surrounding yourself with people, I, I know it's, we're still in, you know, 2021. <laughs> I know that we can't really be seeing anyone right now. But what I mean is maybe you, you feel like you have to constantly be chatting with people on the internet or constantly even like consuming content, you know, um, you're not giving yourself some time to spend with you to get to know you um, even if you are maybe not talking with people all the time not chatting with people maybe you're constantly as I said consuming content on YouTube on Netflix on TikTok on Instagram like think about when was the last time when you just had breakfast and you weren't watching something as an in Instagram TikTok or whatever or if you guys need to constantly be consuming content then that means that you're not giving yourself enough of time to really like communicate with yourself with your higher self with your inner guidance with to listen to your inner guidance um communicating with your spirit guides um or mostly with yourself so it feels like there are a lot of um outside factors that are that might be affecting your mood um, making decisions for you uh, because you are not giving yourself enough time uh, to really like listen to yourself and I do think that this is something that you guys are going to be changing during the next three months because eventually with the tarot cards that we got I feel like you guys are once again like becoming more self-sufficient and not feeling like you always have to like maybe I don't know watch a lot of tarot readings on YouTube to clarify how you feel or clarify, uh, confirm your decisions, etc. Um, so that is here the message for you. Uh, let's see what else we have. So 
these are also these are going to be your guidance cards we have cleansing okay there we go cleansing body and spirit so um yeah if you guys haven't tried to <laughs> take a bath <laughs> if you haven't tried to take like a salt bath basically so a uh, bath where you will be um where you might release the energy the stagnant energy um like a cleansing bath basically like a spiritual cleansing bath that's what i mean not like a regular bath um i feel like you guys should try um i guess this is also just the confirmation that you guys have to cleanse something cleanse yourself cleanse um the surroundings release something it's all about releasing here and also relaxing and staying in solitude once again as you can see like she is in the bath but she's not on her phone okay <laughs> she's not consuming content she's closing her eyes and just enjoying the moment and because of that she might listen to herself to herself and to her body okay so that's another message that's coming through like listen to your body what does your body want what does your body want you to do does your body want you to start like moving your body a little bit more exercising or actually giving yourself a little bit more rest because you are moving way too much um it could be either of it but it's all about listening to your body even like with what you're consuming guys as in what you're eating okay I feel like actually some of you during the next three months can become vegetarian or vegan because you will start paying attention to what you're putting into your body and how you're treating your body okay we also have a card of meditation for peace and serenity i love this one so also connecting with water a lot maybe spending yeah same here and here oh my god you have three cards that are uh connecting with water okay prayers and wishes so with the prayers and wishes, I guess this is talking about affirmations that you guys could be practicing during um, the next couple of months. Um, setting intentions and knowing that it's going to come your way, like, you know, wishes coming true. So just I, I'm getting you. I'm getting a message with some of you for some of you you're going to have birthday during the next three months and the fact that you you will be able to uh, make a wish you know because of uh, you know the the candle on the birthday cake basically <laughs> that's what i'm thinking about like you setting um okay yeah you making a wish okay but also this is about affirmations um affirming the positive things that you want to bring into your life and not really focusing on the things that you just don't want anymore uh focusing more on the things that you do want okay meditation for peace and serenity peace 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 i do think that this is a guidance for you guys that you need to kind of like slow down for now at least at least for now because i do see that three months from now you guys are going to be super busy and super determined and i'm not saying that now you have to like give up on your dreams and not do anything but i'm getting a vibe of you guys constantly doing something and constantly working towards something and or constantly consuming content chatting with people it's time to kind of like sit still um meditate meditate and just you know enjoy the moment be in the moment be in the flow and surround yourself a little bit more with nature spend more time in nature guys please do i feel like even closing your eyes and putting yourself like on the sunlight and closing your eyes then is going to really calm you down and ground you that's what i'm hearing so we have a few more cards let's see what do we have so opportunities opportunities are coming your way i told you unfurl like a fern even without warm sunlight sunlight like this is literally what i was talking about it's so weird okay so opportunities are coming your way guys we have joy spread seeds of joy like a wildflower and no doubt you will reveal you will reveal in the result joy so okay just focus on things that bring you joy guys during the next three months okay slow down slow down we also have a card of music 
There's a melody to be heard in the deepest parts of the woods if only we listen. So if only we listen, I feel like, again, this is talking about slowing down so you can listen instead of, you know, doing constantly, taking action. Um, slow down to listen because in three months from now, once again, I do think that you will have so many things to do. Um, now is the time for you guys to just enjoy the moment and slow down okay i keep on saying the same thing but i'm trying to make you understand what you gotta do okay so with the music card as well i guess this could be um, a very specific message for some of you that are um working on music or like creating music you know something about music that if if that's the thing i guess that's a confirmation for you to, to just keep on going with it um and it's tying up the entire reading together um but also for some of you i guess um this could be about enjoying music and listening to music because music is something that is grounding us um and making us just be there in the moment so if you haven't been really giving yourself some time uh right now to you know listen to music maybe this is just a reminder maybe music used to be used to be very important in your life and it's not now because you are way too busy or you're just way too focused on something else and self-growth which is great but once again grounding yourself centering yourself being more in the present moment and enjoying the ride and not only wanting to reach you know the, the end the end the the destination basically um right away just enjoying what's in between <laughs> okay so this is all that i got for you group number one i hope you enjoyed this reading and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe as this is really helping out my channel a lot and i appreciate that if you guys did that for me um thank you so much let me know in the comments how you feel about this i would love to hear back from you um, don't forget about this uh, giveaway that I'm doing and I also offer private readings if you would like to book a private reading with me so we can focus on your specific energy. The link is in the description box. I love you guys a lot. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Group number two. So you guys chose the Dark Mansion Tyra. Let's see what cards we have for you. Okay, group number two. Wow, you have a lot oh my i mean all of them no except one except six of pentacles you have major arcana cards major arcana cards are major events this is like more important maybe not important but like significant energy something that will for sure happen like main lessons etc but um also i pulled a little bit more cards for you i mean one more one more extra card so i put it here so it doesn't look the greatest but you guys got plenty of cards um wow okay <laughs> so basically the this is what's going to be happening three months from now in your life and i'm going also to be checking your oracle cards to see the guidance for you so let's focus on the cards that we have which are super pretty i'm using them for the first time on this channel I hope you guys like them. I like, I love the, the artwork. It's amazing. But I guess we're going to start with a little bit more heavy things. But don't click out right away because we are focusing on more heavy things first, okay? <laughs> but that's the first message that I'm getting because we have the moon and we have the devil and we have the judgment over there. So it makes me feel like three months from now, guys, from whatever you're watching this video because it's a timeless reading, I feel like you guys are going to be seeing through some sort of illusion because right now it feels like some things are unseen or you are not realizing something yet i feel like three months from now or you are ignoring it for some reason i feel like three months from now you guys are going to be really releasing something or someone from your life because you are going to be like seeing clearly and i feel like with the judgment card it makes me feel like it's gonna be a time for you to really make a decision about something so i'm seeing for some of you repressed issues that will be resurfacing 
during that time, three months from now, and the fact that you will be making decision that you want to move on from it, that you no longer want to be surrounding yourself with this kind of energy. I see you reflecting a lot on all of that. And the temperance is telling us that you will be rebalancing um, the areas of your life that need to be reprioritized also or rebalanced you will be bringing the harmony into the areas of your life that has been neglected or ignored or yeah or not or <laughs> period i feel like that could be talking about maybe a relationship for some of you that you know that is not good for you right now but you are trying to ignore that and three months from now you guys are going to make a decision that it's time to just let it go it is a stressful situation or something that is not so easy to go through but three months from now you i do see you deciding that it's time to move on and time to let go of this person if it's a person for you for those of you that think that it's not a person it's not someone in your life uh, right now that you uh, are realizing um, that it could be I feel like uh, that might be representing some of your negative behaviors toxic behaviors or just toxicity maybe some of uh, for some of you it's like addiction to something that you know you shouldn't be um that you shouldn't be doing something that you shouldn't be doing i'm not getting any one specific scenario but i'm basically seeing you freeing yourself from something that is maybe bringing you down slowing you down or trapping you so as i said it could be a person or it could be maybe a limiting belief or addiction or some toxicity some toxic behavior so that's the first thing i feel like this is a very uh strong energy here that's why i wanted to talk about this first but there are so many more um things that i'm seeing that will be happening three months from now for you i definitely am seeing more harmony in your life with the temperance card that i already mentioned i also see with this card that you guys are going to be combining two totally different things together to make something amazing out of them too so that could be representing idea that you have uh putting two totally like opposite energies together projects or ideas um that no one really have been like thinking about putting together um i do think that it could be like a breakthrough idea for you um uh, or you basically combining Two things that usually wouldn't go together, but will for you for some reason. Like an abstract idea that will actually become a reality. I'm also seeing you healing with the temperance card because it is representing bringing more harmony into your life. And you are creating something new and fresh. Bringing more peace into your life. With the chariot card, that is talking about moving forward, moving on. Uh, progressing, being very determined. Um, this is telling us that there might be some um, blockages on your way. However, you're going to be determined enough to keep on going and you will overcome them. For some of you, that, that could be representing uh, maybe moving somewhere three months from now, um, traveling or even getting a vehicle. That's another thing. Um, the moon card is also telling me, guys, that with a hermit over here, that um, you will be listening to your intuition more. So I feel like um, your connection with your higher self, with your spirit guides, um, and also with your angels is going to become stronger um, because you will be spending a lot of time reflecting on your journey and asking like deeper questions um of your life maybe meaning you know about the meaning of your life or about what uh, your purpose is i feel like you guys are going to be um spending a lot of time with just yourself reflecting on your life and this will bring a lot of clarity to you and this will maybe make you realize what is this devil the moon and the judgment here combined um, that I was mentioning, something toxic that you guys will be releasing three months from now. The moon is also telling us that 
It's kind of like the energy of expect the unexpected. We don't clearly see exactly what's going to happen. That's why um, it might seem like I'm giving quite a general message here because even I am not um, able to see exactly what it is for you guys. But three months from now, I do see you realizing something about something big and releasing it and bringing because of that you're bringing more harmony into your life and you're moving forward i feel like with the judgment card you also might find your calling three months from now maybe you will realize what your purpose is or you will get even closer to to like um working on your purpose or um feeling like you finally got into a place where you were meant to be on this card, the judgment is, and this deck, judgment is represented a little bit differently um, than in my previous decks. So that is interesting. I guess in this case, it's representing like people around you um, and also like a celebration for some reason, or maybe like coming together. That's another thing. That could be saying that you will be releasing some people from your life or putting yourself out there as well putting your work out there not being so afraid anymore of putting yourself out there so moving on we have the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles is making me feel like you guys might receive if you guys are for example looking for a job i do think that you will get one for sure because to me six of pentacles very often is representing a contract so in general, a contract also, maybe you will be signing some sort of contract, signing something like a document. And it's something that you guys are going to be looking forward to. I also feel like there will be someone that will need your help three months from now and you will be willing to help this person. In this deck, this could be representing charity or that could actually be representing someone helping you. So someone might give you a helping hand whenever when you will need it the most or might help you to get closer to something that you want to achieve but in general looking at the cards i feel like the most important here are the moon the devil the judgment and the hermit where you guys are really going within and realizing something big doing the inner work and definitely becoming more spiritual okay I feel like this is a little bit heavy <laughs> but let's see the cards that we have the oracle cards that we have for you so this could be guidance for you for the next couple of months or just in general what's going to happen three months from now so we have step outside of your comfort zone okay so definitely i'm seeing you doing that with um, the cards that we were talking about doing something unexpected that's why i said the moon could be representing things that we don't really know about yet. And I see you doing something unexpected three months from now. I feel like your life, it might change pretty, pretty uh, strongly or a lot, basically. <laughs> I'll say a lot. I do think that your life will change a lot three months from now. And you might not be even realizing exactly how right now. But also, I guess this is asking you to step outside of your comfort zone right now. If you feel like you've been staying in your comfort zone way too much, if you feel like the energy is very stagnant um, and you're not happy about it, it's time to do something differently. Let's see the rest of the cards that we have. So we have conclusions are within reach. Okay, really cool. So full moon as well. Maybe during the next full moon, around that time, you will get the answer to something interesting. So I feel like with the conclusions are within reach, a cycle might end. And I do think that this is also talking about that three months from now where the cycle will end, where you will finally see something that has been hidden or something that was right in front of you but like hidden in the plain side i keep on getting this really weird message and i don't know exactly what it what it is and i wish i could tell you exactly what this hidden thing is but that's the that's the energy of the moon of the um, of the moon card and tarot so something will get resolved when the conclusions are within reach let me know what your intuition tells you in the comments we have you are good enough oh 
So this is a reminder for you that maybe you should pursue something that you want to pursue. Take action on something that you've been thinking about because you are good enough. Maybe you guys are doubting yourself way too much. With a judgment card, maybe you're afraid of what other people will say about it, um, what other people will think about it. Um, I don't think that this is something that you should be focusing on. If you know deep inside that this is what you want to do, just do it. You are good enough, okay? Let's see what else we have. Transformation. Yes, a fresh new way of living emerges. Exactly. It does feel like a big transformation. And it's not really something that you will be... Like, you might not be even realizing it at the moment, but three months from now, you will be a completely different person or you will just have, like, a different perspective on one of the areas of your life and you will release something. You will let something go. Love that. The answers are within. Wow, this makes so much sense with the Hermit card, as I told you that you guys are going to be looking within for the answers during the next three months. Oh, wow, unknown territory. You're exactly where you need to be. I love this for you. So that's a confirmation for you, group number two. I, I'm sorry if I was saying three, maybe. Um, if I was, I don't remember. <laughs> but... You're exactly where you need to be. So don't be afraid that you are maybe not, you know, maybe you are behind or worried about the things that are delayed or just questioning your path because the universe is saying that you are exactly where you need to be and that you will be facing the unknown. So you might be in the unknown territory right now or during the next three months. But it will all come to conclusion or to fruition three months from now. Personal growth. How specific? How more specific? How much more specific can we actually get? It's all about you and your personal growth. Wow. Okay. Into. Okay. <laughs> Again, with these guys, I really again intuition the moon i told you this is you just just being more in tune with yourself in tune with your inner guidance focusing on self-growth follow your dream following your dreams maybe not being so attached to what other people will say maybe that is something that you guys will be releasing releasing the judgment uh, of others or like being afraid you know of the judgment of, judgment of others follow your dreams so you guys um will be following your dreams still uh but also this is something like a um, message for you right now if there's something that you really want to do but you're afraid of doing it um now's the time to start doing it if your intuition tells you that this is a good idea please do it okay next card follow your dreams <laughs> follow your dreams and follow your dreams guys there's there's a reason why you want it why you're dreaming about it whatever it is in your case you were meant to do it you were meant to go for it so why is something stopping you i do see three months from now you guys are going to be determined to keep on going and determined um to overcome the challenges that will be on your way i feel like you will be more confident in following your dreams following your desires okay we have air magic and we also have gratitude and things so these two i think that these are just um guidance for you for the next three months with the air magic that makes me feel like this could be talking about like a ritual of you just sitting down and journaling writing maybe down your goals it's all about like writing and putting your thoughts on a paper so that could be your uh just journaling uh as a way of uh like a therapy maybe getting your thoughts on the paper uh even the things that you know even if your thoughts are toxic or <laughs> maybe not toxic but negative let's say even if you're doubting yourself write it down and then burn it uh, but also at the same time you can be writing down your goals and hyping yourself up for it so this is something that the spirit is asking you to do to start journaling to start writing 
Um, for those of you that maybe have been thinking about becoming a writer or writing your own book, novel, poem, song, all about writing, maybe starting a blog, you know, um, this is the big confirmation for you guys to follow your dream. Gratitude and thanks. Um, be grateful for what you have and, the, and more of it will come your way. Um, a reminder to look around and appreciate the things and the people that you have in your life. Um, be happy for what you have and where you are because you're exactly where you need to be. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's see a few more cards, guys. So we have risk. Hmm. Learn to grow wherever you're planted. So this is all about adapting to a situation. And that's what you guys are going to be learning during the next three months. Um, to just adapt to the current situation that you're in. Know that you are not going to be in that situation forever. Even if it's good or if it's bad. Uh, just know that you will always grow more and you will expand. Um, but this is asking you to take a risk whatever that means for you take a risk okay change okay falling leaves do not signify the end but the beginning of a fruitful season love that so there will be a huge change happening in your life three months from now and just because it's ending it doesn't mean that it's something bad that also means that it's a new beginning for something different love that and also friends, okay, the most unlikely friendships can form like a variegated like, like, well, like, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that, on hard rock. <laughs> they create a tight bond. So friends, I guess that means that during the next three months, you will get very close to someone. Um, maybe you will find a soul family, soul tribe. And you will meet someone or you will connect someone with someone on a deeper level during the next three months. Maybe changing a circle of friends. Hmm. Okay, guys, so that's all that I have for you. I hope this resonated and I hope that you're excited for the next couple of months. Uh, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. It really helps out a lot to grow this beautiful channel. Also, if you would like to book a private reading with me, the link is in the description box. Uh, I would love to work with you individually. Let me know how you feel about this reading in the comments. And don't forget about this giveaway. And I will see you guys in my next reading. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye. Hey, group number three. So if you guys chose the Elemental Wisdom Tarot, let's see what cards we have for you. Alrighty, group number three. So... The tower cards will kind of tell us um, what's going to be happening three months from now from whenever you're watching this reading in your life, like the main energy. And then using the a lot of our oracle cards, we might get some guidance or just more information about that. So I'm getting a lot of messages for you guys. Uh, three months from now, there might be a lot of things happening in your life. But the main uh, things that I'm picking up on um, are a romantic connection with someone and also a decision to make. So let's talk about the decision first of all. We do have the two of swords and we also have two of wands and two of cups over here. By, by the way, beautiful deck, right? <laughs> um, two of swords and two of wands. So I do see that there will be a decision that you guys will have to make three months from now. Uh, you might be a little bit doubting yourself, like being on a crossroads about it and not being really sure what way to go, what to do. The two of wands, I always say that it's my card of like, should I stay or should I go? I don't know if I should stay in where I am right now. It feels nice. You're in kind of like a comfort zone or in general, it's it seems pretty good. It seems like life is good, but it can be better or... Not even better. It just feels like you're not sure if you should take a leap of faith and do something new or if you should just stay where you are at and you are happy. Um, so I definitely am seeing that the big decision will have to be made by you three months from now. You might be even for some of you that could be talking about like moving somewhere uh, with the world card, not, not the world card, with the world here. 
makes me feel like you are guys thinking of expansion you're thinking about like doing something outside of your comfort zone or something that you usually haven't been really doing a lot um so you are around that time you're making a big decision uh moving on hmm okay so we have the emperor war uh i'm gonna read this card probably a couple of times but the first vibes that i'm getting is that you guys are going to be really like setting the foundation for something to grow um i do see you being very responsible about it or like kind of weighing your pros and cons and i do think that it's um it has to do with the two of wands on the two of swords where you're really kind of like thinking of your future and you're going to be basing your decision off what's going to bring you the most stability that's what i'm hearing what is something that is going to let you expand in the future long term like a, it's a long-term game basically moving on uh we have the two of cups a beautiful two of cups card that is um, a romantic connection with someone a uh, very deep connection with someone the three of cups uh a card of friendship and soul tribe celebration as well and then we have the hierophant so i see that those of you that are in a relationship i do think that three months from now it's possible that you're going to get engaged uh or wedding <laughs> or a bigger level of commitment because we have the hierophant um, those of you that are not yet in a relationship, but maybe in a situation where you like someone that is your friend, uh, I do think that eventually you guys are going to become a couple. Um, okay. And that's why maybe that's a decision here to make as well uh, for those of you that are kind of like friends with this person right now, because you're not sure if, uh, you know, it's good where you are right now, but maybe it could be better. Maybe you could build this stable like foundation for the future with this person but you're really just taking all of the things into consideration weighing your pros and cons etc um other than that other the uh, other than the romantic relationship be relationships <laughs> because i don't want to be focusing only on this i actually have so many love readings if you guys want to check them out um after this one um, the Three of Cups is telling me that there will be something for you guys to celebrate, but also the fact that you are going to reunite with a soul tribe or unite with a soul tribe. So maybe find a new friend or get closer with a friend of yours um, that you're friends with at the moment. Um, but yeah, the Two of Cups could be representing a soulmate connection. So I do see if you're single, I do see some finding someone. Um, if you're in a relationship, a bigger level of commitment, like engagement, wedding, or just maybe moving in together, maybe that will be a decision that you guys are going to be thinking about making, like, should I move in with this person or not? It's all about that. But I do see that um, your romantic uh, relationships are, relationship, <laughs> um, is going to be going really well basically everything is good in that area of your life the five of wands though uh, so this card i do see a little bit of a competition okay something that you are fighting for competition around you i do see you like stepping up and realizing that you have to step up in order to achieve the dreams that you have the goals that you have you will have to kind of like fight for what's yours or there will be a need for you to prove yourself. So maybe that could be representing like a new job opportunity coming your way, but you do have to prove yourself that you don't, you do have to kind of like show your skills, etc. There's a, like a sense of like a competition going on, whatever that means for you, because it's a general reading. So it's for a lot of people. It's going to be different for all of you, but something about that. Um, what else? What else? I feel like with the Emperor card, I'm also getting a sense of a father figure being important uh, three months from now. So maybe they need your help or you need their help or something about your connection, maybe deepening or a decision that you have to make. Maybe also something about them expecting you to do something in a traditional way. Okay, these are very like random messages here, but that's another thing that's coming through. So, so far, that's what we have. Let's see what oracle cards we have for you guys. 
Okay, so we have a card of change. So definitely there's a change coming. Um, a big decision that you will have to make three months from now is going to change the course of your life. Uh, change. We also have surrender. So I think that this is talking about, uh, this would be like a guidance for you for now. Uh, that maybe this is not, something is not in your hands right now. Like the ball is not, in your court that's what i'm hearing um so all you can do for now is to surrender to the divine timing and know that the things will kind of like resolve on its own or will show you the way or will um maybe you have to wait for now for something i don't know why i'm hearing that but the spirit is saying now just kind of like let go for the next three months like don't make such a big plans or something don't feel like you do have to be in control at least for now um or wait for the situation to resolve somehow because it's going to bring you more like information so you will be able to decide later on something about that oh and we have a card of happy ending yeah so that makes sense with the surrender and then the happy ending the fact that Maybe right now you don't really have to be taking a lot of action because there will be a happy end at the end anyway. And I think when I say at the end, I think it's that three months from now. So maybe there's something specific right now that you're struggling with and you're not sure what to do. Three months from now, everything is going to be resolved already. You will see clearly what you got to do. You will see your path or in general, that problem is going to be gone because uh, if you surrender, it's going like the universe is going to help you with it. See what else we have. Ooh, emotions are running high. <laughs> um, I do think that this is talking about this connection that you will make with this two of cups, three of cups person. I feel like the next three months might be quite emotional for you, but I think it's in a positive way. We also have your dreams need a practical plan. Taurus. Um, your dreams need a practical plan, which makes sense with the emperor energy, the two of swords and the two of wands. You're really like thinking, as I said before, weighing the pros and cons and thinking uh, about how to bring more structure into your life. Maybe making a plan for the future, becoming more strategic where with how you are going to get to where you want to get. But I don't think that this is something that you should be doing at the moment. I think it's going to be something that you should be focusing on maybe like two months from now, two and a half months from now, like before that culmination or the fact that three months from now, it's about this like, oh, <laughs> I'm having a hard time uh, speaking today. Hmm. <laughs> it's all about making that decision. And I feel like you will have to look at it from a practical manner. That's what the spirit is saying. We also have a card protected by angels. You're cherished by the angels. Something for you to remember that your angels are on your side. Might be sending you a lot of signals by um, maybe showing you repetitive numbers everywhere repeating numbers uh, they want you to know that they are there and they will be there for you during the next three months for sure we also have a card of reflect and redirect your energy Ooh, so this is something that the spirit is asking you to do right now to reflect on your situation so slow down reflect on your situation and try to redirect your energy because there's this change coming the change is going to happen. Maybe you are guys actually putting a lot of effort or a lot of energy into something that you are not even going to be interested in three months from now in doing or like in maybe being with this person or something about the fact that you guys might be, I'm hearing, wasting your time on something that is not going to be significant three months from now. So something, this is something to reflect on. Okay. Is there an area of your life where you put a lot of effort into and you're not really getting a lot of, you know, rewards from? If that's the thing, maybe this is not literally about ending this, but about surrendering and just letting go of the outcome for now. Because 
once you do, there will be a happy ending. That's what I'm hearing. We also have a card, go slow, take time. Slowing down, fogged and fogged in, I guess it's saying that you don't know what's in front of you. That's why you have to go slow and take your time with making a decision. Okay. Eventually, three months from now, you will have to make a decision. It will be time for you to make a decision, but during the next three months, you could be just reflecting on it and going slow and learning more, getting more information so you will be ready to later on make that decision. All right, guys, so these are the guidance cards for you. We have connect with Gaia. So grounding yourself more, surrounding yourself with more nature. The answers might be, might come to you once you're going to really ground yourself. I guess whenever I pull this card, I'm also thinking of your root chakra. You may be feeling like you're not in a safe place right now. You're not feeling secure, maybe because of um, financial stability that you are you feel like you're lacking or you or it might be quite fickle for you um, for some of you so I think that's a message here to really work on your root chakra and ground yourself um, become one with the mother Gaia and know that mother Gaia always has your back we also have meditation for creativity all right so maybe your creativity also might be blocked or you might yeah just not be feeling so creative lately and you wish you could be or the fact that you guys should be doing something more creative at the moment because maybe you are way too much in your masculine energy of like doing things taking action on you know taking action and trying to take control of a situation maybe it's time for you to actually as i said before slow down and express yourself creatively somehow try painting for example be more in your feminine energy be more be more in the flow basically you don't need so much structure even though we do have the you your dreams need a practical plan and the emperor i do think that it's a energy that you will be embodying three months from now but during like the next month at least i feel like you guys should be going more with the flow and going slowly and reflecting that's what the oracle cards are saying here we also have a card imagine and envision which is a beautiful card i love it a lot um i guess that is just telling you to really envision your life to practice um visualizing the life that you want to live um know that you are the creator of your destiny that it's all up to you and that you can achieve whatever you set your mind into obviously it's gonna take time but and that makes like to me it makes so much sense with the your dreams need a practical plan i know this is very practical so this is very masculine and this is very feminine but i for me, it's kind of blending together because I feel like the spirit is asking you to sit down and just maybe meditate or journal if that's something that you enjoy doing and write down or envision your life, um, the life that you want to live, the dream, the big dream that you have, like really see all the details and you can lose yourself in that in fantasy and in your imagination. But because of that, because you're going to be able to like see the big picture, see yourself there. It's all about the balance here and finding the balance between these like feminine and masculine energy, feminine envisioning all of it and the fantasy and seeing all of it for yourself. And also later on, three months from now, taking the practical uh, steps to get there. Okay with the two of swords maybe making a decision so let's see what else we have we also have for you guys card clearing make room for growth so something that you guys have to maybe get rid of so in order to be able to make these big decisions or allow these beautiful blessings to come into your life three months from now now's the time for you to clear the energy that is very stuck okay and we also have a card of um i don't know how to pronounce this <laughs> Idle, idle, oh my god, I really don't know. Uh, hours take some time out to lie on the emerald grass. 
So once again, slowing down and connecting with nature more because this is going to ground you and it's going to help you to realize that you're safe, that everything is fine. And that is the guidance for the next three months. But um, three months from now, I feel like there are a lot of amazing opportunities, blessings, also decisions to be made coming your way and that is super exciting so thank you guys so much for watching this reading i hope you enjoyed it if you did just leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet it really helps out a lot to grow this channel and to support my channel let me know in the comments how you feel about this and don't forget about that giveaway i also offer private readings if you would like to book a private reading with me the link is in the description box and i hope to see you guys in my next one so take care sending you a lot of love Bye.